Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you traveling essentials and tips while traveling with a toddler. So my baby is no more a baby. She is a toddler now. So these tips work amazing for toddlers and you can pick few of them from these for babies as well. So I have traveled a lot with my little one. I have gone to like I've done flight travels, I've done car travels, I've done various kind of like 4 to 5 hour journeys as well and 2 to 3 hour journeys as well so i have picked quite a few points which actually worked amazing for me and i thought i'll share with all the mothers out there because traveling with kids oh my god it's such a big stress for us moms i mean i always wonder what is she going to do in flight what is she going to do in car how will she be seated for 5 hours in car i mean like it blows up my mind to think about that so i came up with few tips and tricks that worked for me and all the essentials so i'll share them all with you right now so the first thing that we need is a good diaper bag or a travel bag now this is what i used to travel this is a backpack it's from miss claire if you have seen my diaper bag video you would know that i always carry that handbag and not those traditional diaper bags so there are times when my little one gets cranky and uh, she wants me to carry her and And then I cannot hand over that handbag to my husband. I mean, it won't look good. Though he is ready to uh, pick it up, it's not a problem with him. But I think it doesn't look good while traveling that he is carrying my handbag and I'm carrying the baby. So I had to carry both the things while I was traveling. And this happened with me in Udaipur. I was carrying baby also, and I was carrying the bag also, and it was such a huge task. That time I decided that I will get a backpack because then even my husband can help me in that. So if I'm carrying baby my husband is carrying the backpack or any of our friends or relatives is carrying this backpack because it works for everyone it is not gender biased or something like that backpack can be carried with everyone so the first thing in this bag is this uh, everyday powder pouches there are emergencies when you want to give milk to your baby and you do not have milk around because it's so hot and humid in india that if you carry milk from one place to another it will all get spoiled in between so you just cannot carry the milk as well so that is the reason i always keep these pouches in bag you never know when the emergency is so i always keep this pouches you can get hot water easily anywhere and then you have to just pour in these milk powder pouches and the milk is ready for the baby so i always carry this or else you can carry the powder milk for baby as well i have stopped using that for my little one i have moved on to these because it's like once in 6 months that i have to use it just in case of emergency so i do not spend that much on a can of powder also the next must have is that container that i show you in newborn essentials video this time while i was traveling i did not carry that container so because of that what happened was whenever i was pouring a milk powder from these pouches to my bottle it was spilling everywhere so i realized i always have to carry that container and if you want to know which container i am talking about just um, there is a link in the description bar below you can see that or there is a video that i link right here you can see that video to get to know about the container which has helped me a lot so yeah that container is also a must have no matter if you have a baby or a toddler the powder won't spill everywhere and it won't go everywhere so you just carry that dabba with you and the second essential which was in my bag was a tumbler there are times when my little one gets cranky that she wants to drink water in her own tumbler so i cannot just stop her so that is the reason i always carry a tumbler with me and i'm not sure if like she can ask for water anywhere so a tumbler is something that i always carry the next essential for me is a sheet i always carry a cover up or a sheet for my little one because when we are going in flights it tends to get a little cooler so also whenever she is sleeping i have a habit of giving a blanket be it thin be it thick depends on summer or winters but i always have a habit of covering her up so i always carry a sheet with me and you never know when it comes handy for you as well because in flights even i feel cold so i just cover her and me as well using this blanket so yeah I always carry a sheet next essentials are few basics that are these diapers and wipes you know you need diapers and wipes all the time though my uh, little one is not wearing diapers anymore but in emergencies i always keep one along with me 
you know you never know about kids when when they'll do it in between <laughs> so yeah she always tells me about pee and poop right now like she has learned she's potty trained now but i always carry these uh, one diaper at least with me wherever i go for a long term like for a long time uh, next thing that you will find in my bag a lot a lot are some of her favorite foods now whenever she gets cranky i try to soothe her by giving her favorite toys or food so i carry a lot a lot of food in my bag because you never know when your kid wants want what i know and no so yeah this is her favorite these are the popcorns that she loves so i always have a pack of this in my bag i know they are not healthy but when you are traveling all you want is a shant baby and a baby whose tummy is filled so that she is not cranky at all so yeah i always carry these or else i get her packed some food if she is sleeping somewhere and we are having our lunch so what i do is i get her food packed and whenever she wakes up i give her that food i know it's get, it gets cold but then that is the thing while traveling you have to like manage it somehow also what other thing that i do is i carry a lot of fruit so i carry bananas apple because she loves eating them grapes so she loves all of those so i carry that as well but these are some handy options which i get anywhere in india wherever i go so i always keep this stuff with me along with that also i keep a lot of candies of course in those cranky situations i have these uh, smaller version of gems because she loves gems and i don't want to hand over her a full packet so i keep this a smaller version of it so yeah this is something that i keep in my bag always now there is a very handy tip that i would like to give you guys instead of carrying the huge packets and go you can use this ziploc pouches i carry a few biscuits in ziploc pouches and few pup puff cons so that my bag isn't that full and there is a lot of variety of stuff in my bag because kids get like they tend to get bored of one stuff and they need something else the other time so yeah this is what all was about food now there is one more tip that i would like to give is always carry a empty container so what i used to do is whenever she is having some french fries or anything uh, food from outside and you want to go you just fill that empty container uh, with food that your little one needs and then you just take that container away also if there is a leftover you can you always have a container handy so always carry a empty container it is amazing apart from that i always have this uh, glucovita balls i don't know if they are healthy if they are not i don't know but whenever she gets a lot cranky this is the last weapon that i take out so always carry something that your little one loves i mean they just love that stuff always take that stuff out in the end when the situation is out of control and they get really cranky that is the time that you need to take such stuff out apart from that a very essential thing and a very common thing is a set of clothes always keep a spare set of clothes of yourself and your little one because you never know when your little one decides to puke on you yeah that has happened with me so always keep a set of clothes it's really it really comes handy it, it has happened with me on the airport yes it has so always keep this stuff no matter if you think ah my daughter tells everything she'll tell me pee she'll tell me poop she'll not do anything and that is the time that you will need a set of clothes so do not <laughs> underestimate your kids always carry such stuff you never know when you'll need them the next thing i carry is uh, some uh, medicines i mean uh, these medicines are essential for me uh, because i do not want to run around the market when my daughter is not feeling well so there are few basic medicines which i always carry i'll share them with you guys one by one so the first medicine that i always carry is a fever go whenever she has some fever i give a spoon of fever go to her uh, before i tell all of those medicines please consult your doctor before you give them to your little one because i'm not really sure if it works for everyone or not but it works for me i have confirmed with my doctor and that is the reason i am sharing with you guys so the first one is the fever go for the fever next is this max cold for those cold and cuffs because they tend to eat a lot of ice creams and cold drink and then you need max cold so yeah max cold for her the next is this cream i mean these creams i have three i'll show you one more these creams 
Now her skin is really sensitive, so I carry this candid cream. Then I carry this uh, fluty weight cream, and then I carry this uh, neosprin as well. And there is one thing I would like to tell you all, guys. I've always mentioned the candid B cream in my baby products. I think I've mentioned the candid B cream for the rashes. Now recently. Now recently my doctor told me that the candid B is for adults and the candid the simple candid cream is for the little ones. So if you are uh, thinking to buy the candid cream go for uh, candid one not the candid B. These are for us. For us for any kind of rashes for us. And this is for the little one. I'll be linking all of these stuff in the description bar below so you can always give it a go. Check it out and see if you need anything of that sort. Next is this viscodyne for the cuff. <coughs> Apart from that, I have Ibujesic just in case she has some kind of pain, she's having any headache or due to sleepless nights she gets cranky. I give her a spoon of Ibujesic. Apart from that, I also carry a Granny Force. I do not have with me right now because it got finished. I carry Granny Force on any kind of medicine for uh, puking or vomiting because while traveling, uh, toddlers tend to get a little pukish. So I always carry Granny any force with me the next two things that I carry with me are these Odomos or the uh, mosquito repellent patches which you stick on the back of your child or any anywhere on your child and it helps in keeping uh, mosquitoes away and the last one is a sanitizer you never know when you need a sanitizer so yeah always keep this handy whenever you have to wash your baby or even if your baby's hand gets dirty just wash it off and then use a little bit of sanitizer it will just protect your baby and you so these two are really handy while traveling the next essential for me which I always carry with me in my bag are these uh, slippers now these are the most comfortable slippers for her she feels the most comfortable in these slippers I go with matching slippers when I start the journey I make her wear the matching ones and then slowly when she is not comfortable she'll remove those so that is when these comes handy always make her wear comfortable clothes and comfortable slippers now the next I have this small zip right here which in which I keep some tiny stuff always keep a pack of wipes in this uh, zip there is a small pack of wipes in my bag so I always keep that in this zip right here apart from that I keep a hanky this is essential of course and then I keep some clips so you never know when your baby's clip decides to break and then you are left with a baby whose hair looks like a fountain without a clip so yeah always keep some clips handy and i always keep a rubber band for me handy as well apart from that i always keep some poly bags handy because you never know uh, when your baby decides to poop and you are left with such mess and you know you want to store clothes which get wet because of puking and stuff or even spilling water anything anything you need polythene bags now the next thing that i do not have here but i want to share is always carry some sugar or flavored chocolate powder with you because you never know where you are going and then the taste of milk changes and your toddler is not ready to take it they have sugar in most of the restaurants or hotels but i always tend to keep it little safe and carry my own sugar and some bon vita powder with me just to make milk milk more yummier for her so that she doesn't have to go through that phase of not having milk and making me cranky next is something that keeps your little one busy now you know what your little one loves i'll share what mine loves and i'll share whatever keeps her busy i always carry some uh, clay with me because that keeps her busy for a really long time she do something with her clay she keeps playing she has a kitchen set she, i take that i take some plates and cups with me as well and she'll just play with them the next are these uh, sticker books these always keeps her busy like uh, she'll take one sticker she put it somewhere then she'll take another sticker put it somewhere so this is something that keeps her busy i always carry a sticker book with me and this is a tip that i picked up from my friend she carried sticker books for her daughter which kept her busy for a really long time so i did the same with me 
I always carry story books for her because she loves listening to stories. So that is the reason I carry story books. These are her two favorites. One, the one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and the other is Ugly Duckling. These are her favorite ones, and I carry these with me. So whenever she is get, getting cranky or something like that, I make her sit with me, and then we do story telling stuff, and that. so this are out and she is like a little calm after reading the stories and she enjoys them a lot so that is the reason i always carry story books and then there are few toys i make a zip pouch of it uh, i have a small pouch i keep all the clay and utensils like these and her dolls in that pouch and take them along with me so along with these old toys that i have for her i always buy one or two new toys for her so that something keeps her entertaining and something keeps her so that she finds something interesting in them since these are new she will play for some time at least because with old toys kids tend to get bored there are few tips that i would like to share with you guys the first thing is uh, make your travel journey according to your uh, little one naps time so what we do is we travel the 5 6 hours journey the longest that we have in our uh, you know uh, in our trip the longest journey that we have we uh, try and travel it during night time so that the little one is sleeping calm and composed good to go so yeah always um, schedule your journey during their nap time that will help you a lot it will actually help you a lot you know um, giving importance to these a uh, little things will actually make a lot of difference in keeping your little one happy throughout your trip second always keep your little one id proof if he or she is 2 years above you need that I think below also you need that. I don't know. You always need a ID proof for your little one, so always keep that handy. The next tip that I want to share is um, include your little one's uh, pee and poop time in between your journey time. For example, if you are traveling by car, okay, make sure you make regular stops. so that you can take your little one for the pee and the other thing is if you are traveling by flight then always make sure that before you hop on to flight try and uh, take her to washroom and let her empty her stomach because that way she will be more calm and composed and she will be busy eating in the flight so always take that extra time with you whenever you plan your trips or whenever you plan your itinerary for the day always take care of their nap time otherwise they'll get cranky in between and then you will not be able to enjoy your day so always take care of their nap time what we used to do was whenever we used to go out around 2 or 3 i made sure i come back to the hotel or we are in a restaurant somewhere eating so that i can make my little one sleep for a hour so make sure you take care of their nap time otherwise at the end they will get cranky and then you will get cranky so there is no point of vacation when you won't be able to enjoy it so take care of their nap time they are the king and the queens so you need to pamper them a lot The next is always have some extra seats with you. If you are traveling in a flight, make sure it's not jam packed. If it is, then look for another flight which has some free seats because whenever your little one sleeps, you can just lay her down nicely. So that is one tip. Or if you are going with car or if you are going in car, then don't make the car jam packed. Rather go in two cars if possible so that your little one can sleep nicely and can relax and they have their own seat and they are not jump being from one one lap to another this will make them uncomfortable and uh, if possible if a lot of people are going then take a mini van i think that's a much more comfortable for your little one they can just roam around and anything like that apart from that always dress up your little one in less because at airport sometimes it's too cold and uh, when you are out sometimes it's too hot so if your little one is dressed up in less you can take or add one more layer according to the weather conditions so always dress them up in less 
so yeah these are all the tips that i have for you and these are all the essentials that i need whenever i'm traveling with my little one in flight car or bus or any ways or train any ways these are some of the essentials that i always need to take care of and i really hope you pick something from this video and do leave me in comments below what are your essentials and what are your tips to keep your little one busy while you are traveling and let's just help each other out in this thing because it is a very tough task and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please click on that subscribe button it's absolutely free and you'll be notified for any video that i upload if you click on that bell icon you will get the notification just beside the subscribe button so yeah make sure you subscribe like and share this video and see you soon in my next video bye bye take care